You got it, Steph. And thank you so much for that wonderful first half of the presentation. So now that you know how we kind of went about um, getting in with this organization, the process that we went through, why we care about it, and what the organization is about, let's check out their social media um, online. Right now, these are, we're going to look at the pages right now um, that they actually have that they update on a regular basis, which involve Twitter, Facebook, and of course their blog. So this is their Twitter site. If you see right here, they've got uh, over a thousand tweets, 889 following, close to 3,000 followers. Look, there's Stephanie right there. <laughs> um, and they're pretty active on their Twitter account. They're pretty active on all of them, actually. Um, this is their Facebook account. And their Facebook account is interesting because you can see the different questions that they, that they post on their Facebook account for all of their followers and um, and it very much has to do with what they're all about for instance which industry experienced the highest rate of data breaches in 2011 over here we've got another question which of these food items below does not double as hacker slang down here what is spear phishing all very valuable information for what they're trying to accomplish and achieve and this is their blog um, they talk about events on their blog um, the End Summit 2013 is coming up. Also, um, outside of the uh, social networks that they actively participate on, here's some sample posts that I found on other social networks like Google Plus when you punch in the phrase I keep safe.org. Um, here they are, they come up right here. Uh, digital literacy for families, they're um, going uh, with Verizon. They're getting in with Verizon to make a free educational workshop to California kids. Um, and then they talk about cyber harassment over here. Uh, let's check out Pinterest. When you punch in their name on Pinterest, they come up there as well um, with some pretty relevant information. Here we have LinkedIn. LinkedIn is interesting because you can see some of the key influencers on LinkedIn. Um, for example, this Rick guy right here, he's on the advisory board. Um, this other woman, Lynette down here, is a compliance advisor at iKeepSafe.org. So right there you kind of get to know some of the key influencers just from doing a quick search there. Now we're getting into social monitoring tool results. This was fun. Um, Stephanie and I both had a lot of fun checking out all of these results. But uh, when you go to Google Alerts and punch in I Keep Safe, you know, right off the bat comes their website. You can find them on Twitter, YouTube. Um, and then here's the alert that I had actually set up, and I've, and I've received some interesting uh, emails in the past few days with this alert as well. Uh, and then when we look at Google Trends, we can see some analytics here. Uh, when you punch in the search term for I Keep Safe, um, over time you can see that this goes back from to 2011 and this little bit of information was when I was hovering over this point right here. So for the month of September, um, this is how many hits they that Google found for I Keep Safe. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then also in Google Trends, um, this is their regional interest. There wasn't enough search volume to show results over time and um, certainly not the top or rising searches either. Uh, hopefully that'll change in the near future though. These are the results from Ice Rocket when you punch in I Keep Safe. Um, and, the, and these are their blog results so you can see everything we just looked at on their blog is boom right there. So that's a good tool to use. Retweet rank is interesting. Um, you can see that I Keep Safe is um, at 375,000, almost 376,000, approximately the 94th percentile. And um, it shows their followers and um, their listing as well, their vision, their web page. Um, some nice information here on Retweet Rank for sure. Let's go down to what the trend. Um, what the trend was uh, an interesting one, but I mean, you kind of had to sign up for it to really get the full um, data that you're looking for when you're monitoring any social community um, or any online community. But here's some related news that uh, we were able to find in what the trend um, 
when you punched it in and it's you know piracy fight taken into US kindergarten kindergartners to learn about copyright laws from Hollywood pros so it's all relevant things um, this is from being social bar um, when you punch in I keep safe it just you know pretty much brings up the same stuff we've seen already uh, this is the videos when you do a video search lots of informational videos can be found in regards to uh, I keep safe um, this is the Yahoo Trends, and I, here I did a Yahoo video search as well, just to kind of show you. I mean, they're they're pretty much the same videos, you know, what you see right there on Bing and Yahoo. It's it's pretty similar, so I thought that was interesting. Images, lots of images with their logos and uh, the people they're affiliated with, um, and then uh, for their blogs right here, when we do an I Keep Safe search. We don't really get as as many uh, hits on their blogs as we did with some of the other ones, so that was interesting. Uh, here's social mention. Social mention I really like. I think this is a great tool to use for monitoring. Um, with social mention, you can see their sentiment is four to one. They've got a 23% passion, a 15% reach. Strength only one percent, uh, but you know it's it also shows some other valuable things like their top keywords. What's interesting about the top keywords that uh, um, I punched in a lot of these other keywords, and Stephanie did as well in a lot of the other social monitoring tools, and we found that when you punch in things like safety or online or internet or privacy or you know whatever whatever some of their keywords are, when you punch that in you don't really get a lot of uh, hits going back to I Keep Safe. So, um, so it's interesting to see that I Keep Safe um, doesn't have a lot of those keywords tied to their organization um, as closely as maybe they should have. Um, and then here are some random mentions, uh, some, some tweets as well. Also on social mention, um, you can see some of the top users right here, some of the top hashtags and the sources that they came from. Um, all very useful stuff. And then right here is uh, the blogs. When you do a blog search in social mention, you get just a ton of blogs. Um, they don't necessarily have to do with I keep safe so I don't know how useful that is um, but everything else I've seen on social mention I really liked I mean that's a lot of great information right there uh, Topsy I really enjoyed as well Topsy was a good one and this is just in the past 12 days this search right here they've had 14 tweets um, and this is a search for everything so we can see Monica and Heidi talking about it we can see some regular news for digital training for educators and um, all of that stuff is very relevant some more topsy stuff these are some more tweets where you can just see uh, you just get a search directly you know to see the tweets um, that have to do with I keep safe or the people that's tweeting about I keep safe Heather Callahan is uh, big in this it takes a village to understand an app called vine um, she actually has her own website with uh, that has to do with internet privacy as well and how to protect yourself against it. Um, this is also from Topsy. This is some analytics, um, some tweets per day. Uh, I don't know if my face is going to be in the way, but over here is the last little um, mountain peak, so to speak, and that was October 7th. There was one person that tweeted to I Keep Safe. And that person was Panther Acad, a uh, new good new Google digital literacy and citizenship curriculum now available. So, um, and the, and like I said, that's that was for October seventh. That was one tweet. If you see this peak over here, I believe that was five tweets when I looked at that, just to give you an idea. Um, this is also Topsy. Some of the key influencers when uh, when you go ahead and sort. Um, when you filter that into it, you can see Monica and Angel Forever and Himanshu Nagim. Um, also, Google Plus key influencers. This was 
another uh, one that I found uh, that, I, that I didn't throw in earlier, I kind of wanted to keep the influencers together as much as possible. But you can see some of the same names in here for sure. So um, I don't know. I think that if I had to pick a social monitoring tool that I really enjoyed, um, I think it would be between Social Mention and Topsy. Those were definitely my favorites. Um, as far as what social media platform seems to be most popular, you know, we started out thinking that they were using Twitter more so um, because, you know, they're partners with Facebook and Google+. And it's because of that that they're actually able to cover a wide range of platforms. So we were kind of surprised about how well-rounded the organization was as a whole. Um, I hope you enjoyed our presentation, and I, uh, I definitely had a lot of fun collaborating with Stephanie on this. We found out some very great, um, useful information with this community that I think we both took a lot away from, and hopefully you did too. Thank you.